Her name was Kitty Genovese, a woman whose murder became infamous the world over because nobody tried to save her. Listen to how it was reported. At least 38 residents of this apartment building heard her screams and did nothing. That's the legacy of Kitty Genovese, who was murdered in Queens, New York in 1964. Her story is taught in psychology classes, and her name is synonymous with people who look the other way when trouble happens. Nothing, no witnesses, just a lot of listeners. It's the post-Kitty Genovese era. No one wants to look, they think they'll get involved. But now as the 50th anniversary of Kitty's murder approaches, bombshell revelations about what really happened. Kevin Cook is the author of the new book, Kitty Genovese, The Murder, The Bystanders, The Crime That Changed America. The idea that New Yorkers watched and did nothing, didn't lift a finger to help this poor dying girl, stuck in the public mind, but it was a lot more complicated than that. It happened here. Kitty Genovese was almost home when she heard a man's footsteps behind her. She ran, but the man caught up to her and stabbed her twice in the back. She screamed, oh God, I've been stabbed. What happened next? That's where fact and fiction take separate paths. He fled, she turned and went back around this corner. Kitty was attacked by a man named Winston Mosley. The author says the fact that she was able to walk after the initial attack probably led people to believe they didn't have to call the cops. People are looking out their windows. They see Kitty Genovese here. They see her struggle to her feet. She staggers around this corner into the darkness and is no longer visible to so the she's people. She's no longer visible to the people over here. It was past 3 a.m. Thinking the trouble was over, people went back to bed. They were unaware that a wounded Kitty Genovese was still in mortal danger. Kitty sought shelter in here. She was able to get into this door. That's when Mosley returned and raped and stabbed Kitty to death in this vestibule. According to Cook, a man at the top of the stairs saw it happen but did nothing to stop it. A tragic story, but it got much worse two weeks later when a front page story in the New York Times declared 37 who saw murder didn't call the police. The author says that number was totally distorted. It was certainly dozens of ear witnesses and eyewitnesses, but when you talk about the people who both heard something or saw something and knew what it meant, knew what was going on, I don't think it's more than uh, half a dozen. And Cook says one neighborhood man remembers his dad calling the cops on that fateful night. He swears that his father did call the police, was put on hold, told the police, there's a woman staggering around out there, she's been beaten up, you need to come. There was no answer to that call. Because in those days, there was no 911 system. That's something that grew out of the Kitty Genovese case. So the legend of Kitty Genovese was born. Led to uh, many sermons uh, in churches. It led to gossip. It led to, it went viral in the way that things could in 1964. Winston Mosley was arrested six days after the murder. He's been in prison ever since. And right or wrong, Kitty Genovese is remembered for what people didn't do to help her. The phrase that came out of this was, uh, I didn't want to get involved.